The Draeger Pack is a portable gas detection device, which monitors gases in the ambient air of the working place and in explosive environments. The pack allows for measurement of up to two gases, depending on the Draeger sensor installed. The Draeger Pack has the following features. A large, easy-to-read LCD display, non-verbal operation, two multifunctional buttons, a colored inlay or keypad for easy recognition of the gas to be measured, gas inlets protected by sensor grids, an alarm horn. An intermittently flashing D-light shows the device is ready for use. An alarm sets off clearly visible LEDs. When first using the device, press and hold the blue menu button for three seconds. A countdown from three to one will appear. Once completed, a short activation sequence begins. Now, in order to turn on the device, press the green OK button and hold for three seconds. Another countdown from 3 to 1 will appear. Then the display will show the following. The startup screen with all the control elements. The current software version. The sensor installed. Alarm thresholds for A1 and A2. Arrows displaying a rising or declining gas concentration. Remaining operating life in days for the PAC 6000. If configured, the next due date for adjustment. The PAC 8500 indicates the gases and their relative alarm threshold successively. Then the measurement screen appears. On all devices, the standard screen indicates the battery level and the gas concentration. In addition, the time-limited PAC 6000 indicates the remaining operating life in days. Whereas all the other devices in the PAC series indicate the gas currently being measured. The Draeger PAC 8500 with dual sensors also has a special feature. The display indicates the gases alternately. In order to open the information menu, press the OK button. Note that after 10 seconds of inactivity, without pressing the OK button again, the device will automatically switch back to the measuring mode. When first pressing the OK button, you will see the peak value. When pressing the OK button again, further information is shown. All values indicated on the information menu refer to the data collected since the last time the device was switched on. When the pack is switched off, all values will be reset, except the lifecycle and the ID. In order to turn the device off, simultaneously press both the green OK button and the blue menu button until the three-second countdown as shown on the display is completed. The blinking visual alarm and the acoustic alarm indicate that the shutdown sequence has been completed. In order to make a fresh air adjustment or sensitivity calibration, go to the password menu. Press the blue menu button and hold for 5 seconds while the device is in measurement mode. In the password menu, you can change the flashing digit from 0 to 9 using the menu button. By pressing the OK button, you can accept the value and proceed to the next digit. After the last value has been accepted, the three digits will start to blink. Then press the OK button. After entering the password, go to the Fresh Air Adjustment function in the menu. When the Fresh Air Calibration icon begins to flash, you can start the calibration by pressing the OK button. Make sure that you are situated in an environment with pure ambient air. Even the slightest contamination can result in faulty adjustment. While in the fresh air calibration function of the menu, the current gas concentration flashes on the display. Confirm the calibration with the OK button. After a successful procedure, a double acoustic signal will sound, and on the display, the gas type and OK will appear alternately. If the calibration has failed, a triple acoustic signal will sound. 
and an X icon will appear on the display together with an icon consisting of four minus signs. Press OK to accept the fresh air calibration or the menu button to refuse the measurement and enter the measurement mode. The sensitivity calibration serves to calibrate the sensors to a preset gas concentration. Raise the clip on the pack, attach the calibration adapter and connect it to the test gas cylinder. In order to carry out a sensitivity calibration, press the menu button to enter the menu. The icon for span calibration will start flashing. Confirm with OK in order to start the sensitivity calibration. As soon as you have called up the sensitivity calibration function in the menu, and the calibration icon begins to flash, you can set the calibration concentration. Press the blue menu button in order to adjust the concentration and press the green OK button to confirm the concentration. Then expose the device to a gas flow until the measured value remains constant. Then press OK. A bump test determines whether the gas path is blocked, the sensors detect gas, the alarms are set off. In order to conduct a manual bump test, attach the device to a calibration adapter and connect the adapter to a test gas cylinder. Press the blue menu button three times in a row. Now press the OK button in order to start the test. The BT symbol will appear on the display for the current bump test. After a few seconds, the Draeger pack will activate the alarm. Remove the device from the calibration adapter. As soon as the bump test is completed, the alarm stops and OK will appear on the display of the device. You can also carry out a bump test using the Draeger bump test station. After the device has been inserted into the station, the test will start automatically. The rest of the procedure is identical to the bump test using a calibration adapter. The A1 pre-alarm is set off as soon as the concentration exceeds the preset threshold. There is no acute danger. You can acknowledge the alarm by pressing the green OK button. The A2 main alarm indicates danger to life. When this alarm sounds, evacuate the danger area immediately. This alarm is not acknowledgeable. The alarm on the Draeger Pack 8500 with dual sensors differs from the other models. One gas sets off an A1 alarm, the other gas an A2 alarm. Both gas concentrations are indicated alternately with the corresponding alarm icons. When the battery level on your device falls below 5%, a battery pre-alarm is set off. The battery icon begins to flash intermittently. You can acknowledge the alarm with the OK button. The battery main alarm activates a visual, acoustic and vibrating alarm, indicating that there is little to no battery capacity left. A 10-second countdown is displayed, after which the device shuts down automatically. Should the device incur an error, an error icon appears on the display. By pressing the OK button, an error code will appear. The device is no longer able to take measurements. Further warnings such as expired intervals are displayed by an exclamation mark over the gas concentration. Though the device remains functional, it is advisable to hand it over to Draeger Service and continue work with another device.